Today we're going to do uh, the AMC 10A 2015. Uh, once again, wait, what do you mean 20.1 known? I have no answer. Oh. Uh, okay. So let's see. Positive. Good luck, baby. Okay, bye. Oh, it didn't clarify. Also, if you don't believe that this is the first time I've done this exam, I want to show to you uh, that, in fact, this is the first time that I have ever seen uh, the problems on this exam. And if I have ever seen the problems on this exam before, I will skip them. All right. 2 to the 0 minus 1, that's 0. Plus 5 squared, so 25. So times 5, that's 1 over 5. Box contains a, okay, containing 84 edges total. So try a T plus S is 25, or 3T plus 4S is 84. So if I uh, make this minus 3T, minus 3s equals minus 75 then we get s is equal to 84 minus 75 so there are nine squares which would mean that there are 16 triangles so d how many toothpicks does he need to add to complete a five-step staircase well you know what they say there's only one way to find out well, there are more than one ways to find out, but doing it algorithmically is basically takes the same amount of time as just actually doing it. But they're not asking us to make like 20 steps. They're only asking us to make five. And the first three have already been counted up for us. So here is the staircase we already have. So now let's count up how many new ones that I use. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten and for this one eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two d pablo sofia and mia got some candy eggs at a party pablo had three times as many eggs as sofia and sofia had uh twice as many eggs as mia Pablo decides to give some of his eggs to, okay. Let's say Mia has one egg. Then Sophia has two. And Pablo has three. Uh, Pablo decides to give away some of his eggs to Sophia and Mia. So, uh, he doesn't have to give anything to Sophia in this situation, actually. He only needs to give one egg to Mia, so they all have two, two, two. But I guess that's not the situation we're looking for here. So let's say Mia has X, Sophia has two X, meanwhile Pablo has three X. I tried to cheap out, but let's do it for real. Once again, it seems like he can just, wait, Sophia, oh, three times as many eggs as, oh, oops, oh, it's six eggs. So you can't actually cheap out here. Pablo just has six eggs here. So now the total amount of eggs is nine, so everybody should have three eggs. So one of them goes to Sophia, and the other two go to uh, Mia. Then that means that he will give one sixth of his stuff to Sophia. Me. Happy birthday to you. Okay. So Mr. Patrick teaches math to uh, 15 students. He was grading tests and found when he graded everyone's test except Peyton's, the average grade for the class was 80. So uh, let's say the sum of everyone else's scores was n. So n over 14 is 80. And then N plus Peyton's score over 15 is 81. 
and Payton's score has to be an integer, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, 81 times 15. So, his score is 81 times 15 minus 80 times 14. Um. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. What a woody. Not fifteen eighty one. Oops, I'm dumb. Okay, I knew something was wrong there. So that means that we have one fifteen minus twenty. So he got a ninety five. Pretty good student. He got there. Sum of two positive numbers is five times their difference. And they're asking for A over B. Okay. So, but the, but the, but the, well, that's 5A minus 5B. So, 4A equals 6B. So, clearly, 4A over 6B equals 1. And A over B is 6 over 4, which gets simplified to 3 halves. How many terms are there in the arithmetic sequence 13, 16, 19, etc., 73? Uh, well, there are three terms when it goes up to 13, 16, 19. Now, 19 is just 13 plus, there, if there were three terms, let's say there are t terms in total, so the last term is going to be 13 times 3, uh, plus 3 times t minus 1. Like, for example, when there are three terms, t is 3, so it's 13 plus 3 times 2, which is 19. So when this is equal to 73, 3 times t minus 1 is 60. So then t minus 1 is 20, and there are 21 terms. Two years ago, Pete was three times as old as his cousin Claire. Two years before that, Pete was four times old as Claire. In how many years will the ratio uh, of their ages be two to one? Okay, and they're asking what X is. So let's see. That means P minus two equals three C minus six. And p minus 4 is 4c minus 16. 3c minus 6 minus 2 is 4c minus 16. So 3c minus 8 is 4c minus 16. That means Claire is currently 8 years old. So that means that uh, 2 years ago he was 6, so 18. So 2 years ago... Pete would have been 18, so now he's 20. So these are their current ages. And how many years will the ratio of their ages be 2 to 1? Four equals X. So that means in four years, so 24 and 12, yup, their ages will be 2 to 1. B. Two right circular cylinders have the same volume. Uh, the radius of the second cylinder is 10% more than the radius of the first. What is the relationship between the heights of the cylinders? <sighs> pi r squared 8 par, uh, pi r squared the Pi r1 squared h1 equals pi r2 squared h2. 
So 1.1 R1 equals R2. So then H1 times X is equal to H2. times 1.1 squared is 1.21 H2. So cancel out those and we are left with H1 equals 1.21 H2. So that means that 1.21 H2 is, so the first height is 21% more than the second. D How many rearrangements of A, B, C, D are there in which no two adjacent letters are also? Yeah, so no such rearrangement could include A, B, B, A, B, C, C, B, C, D, or D, C. With that many restrictions, I'm pretty sure there's only one or two ways to do it. Oh, and D, A. Well, no, actually... I think the D and A aren't consecutive. So, uh, something like B, D, A, C would work. B, A, D, C wouldn't work because of these two pairs. C, D, A, B wouldn't work because of these two pairs. Uh... Is this the only arrangement? Uh, we could do it backwards. Uh, that also works. Um, yeah, B is next to both A and C, so the only one it can be next to is D. And C is next to well, D and B, so the only one it can be next to is A. And then if we try rearranging these two chunks, like this, and then we get some problems in the middle. So there are only two ways, I think. Let me show the length of the width. So let's call this 4x and this 3x. The rectangle has a diagonal of length d, which could be like 5x or something. The area can be expressed as kd squared for some constant k. The area is 12x squared equal to k times 25x squared. So 25k is 12, the constant is 12 over 25. Points root pi a and root pi b are distinct on the graph of. Can't we just plug those in? <coughs> so there were two solutions apparently when we plug in uh, x equals root pi. Pi squared plus pi squared. Wow, that's hard. 2 pi y plus 1. Wait, y squared minus 2 pi y plus pi squared equals 1. Oh shoot, that means y minus pi squared equals 1. So y minus pi plus minus 1. So y equals pi plus 1 or pi minus 1. So pi plus 1 minus pi plus 1. The absolute value of that is just 2. Claudia is ten, uh, 12 coins, or Claudia, however you pronounce it. Each of which is a 5 10 coin or 10 10 coin. Just call them nickels and dimes. There are exactly uh, 17 different values that can be obtained as combinations of one or more of her coins. How many dimes does Claudia have? This is the first tricky one that I've come across. Let's see. 
It's exactly 17 different values. Hmm. How do we know how many different values can be formed? Uh, so each of which is a 5 cent coin or a 10 cent. Okay, let's do it by process of elimination. Let's say first that he has, she has three 10 cent coins. One, two, three 10 cents. That means that the rest of her coin, nine coins to be exact, are five cents. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I know. You take the maximum value, the minimum value, get the range, divide it by five. That should be it. So like for example, how many values are obtainable when you have two dimes and one nickel? You can have five, you could have 15, you could have 20, or you could have 10. Or you could have 25. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, 25 minus 5 over 5 is 4. So I guess we have to add 1 to make the formula work. So, okay, if this is 17, then uh, max minus min, uh, I'll just represent them with big M and small n. Uh, equals 16. So the max minus the min is 80. So the minimum it literally has to be 5. So that means the maximum is 85. So let's see. Now we know that 5a, well, 5 nickel plus 10 dime is 85. Meanwhile, nickel plus dime is just 12. So minus 5 nickel minus 5 dime is minus 60. That would make 5 dime equals 25, so she has 5 dimes, and consequently, uh, 7 nickels. So yes, the minimum obtained would be 5, and the maximum obtained would be 35 plus 50, it's 85, so everything checks out. Uh, 7. No, 5, 5, whoops, whoops, I almost read that out. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, the disc has an arrow painted on it, and this will be pointing. Okay. At what point on the clock face will the disc be tangent when the arrows are next pointing in the upward vertical direction? So, once the clock has made one full revolution. Radius 10 centimeters. So 10 centimeters means 20 pi centimeters circumference. 20 centimeters means 40 pi centimeters circumference. So that means it's going to go about halfway uh, around the circumference of this fella before it's upwards again, so D. Happy that it's not C. Okay, consider the set of all fractions x over y, or x and y, oh, what the hell? So, a over b, so 1.1a over b is equal to a plus 1 over b plus 1. Why?
So let's see, 1.1a times b plus 1 equals a plus 1 times b. So 1.1ab plus 1.1a equals ab plus b. So 0.1b is 1.1a equals b. So 1.1a minus b equals point o Wait, what? Oh, no. Point, uh, so 1.1a equals 0.9b. So 11a equals 9b. So that means 11a over 9b is a 1. A over b is. Wow, that's a. That's certainly a fraction. Um. Aren't there infinitely many ways to do this? Because 18 over uh, 20. Two would work as well, no? I have no clue what this could even reduce to. Well, I'll just say infinitely many. If y plus 4 equals x minus 2 squared, x plus 4 equals y minus 2 squared, x is not equal to y. What is x squared plus y squared? What? Huh. y plus 4 equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. x plus 4 equals y squared minus 4x minus 4y plus 4. So y equals x squared minus 4x and x equals y squared minus 4y. <laughs> I'm in here and what they all say, taking my chances, kind of. confessional. Let's see, what is x squared plus y squared really? It's 2x squared minus 4x, which is just 2x times x minus 2. Body, 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 body. equals y squared minus 4y, that's y times y minus 4, so x is equal to x times x minus 4 times x squared minus 4x minus 4. x equals x squared minus 4x times x squared minus 4x minus 4, I do not know why I'm doing this. box method right now. So minus 8x cubed. Oops, I have to add them together. Plus 16 minus 4. This looks very enjoyable to factor. What the hell is that? Is 
save me. I don't even know how to factor a cubic. Please help. Help me. Body, 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 body. Now you see, this is what we're trying to find. Let's just summarize it is x squared plus y squared plus x squared plus 4x squared minus 15x. started but I don't da, 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 da. okay I got one last ditch approach correct 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 This should overall be correct. Wait, no. 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 Wait,
No, not like. Wait. One second. Y plus 4 minus 6. So y minus 2 is equal to x minus 2 squared minus 6. Not, you know, you know, not, you know, you know, not, you know, you know, not. No, I'm not doing this. Not anymore. Hard pass for me. Okay, the line that passes through the origin intersects both x equals 1. Like, how would it not? And line 1 plus root 3 over 3x? Three wow. That escalated quickly. So this is the line x equals 1. We have y equals 1 plus root 3 over 3x. Where is that? Um, 1 plus root 3 over 3x. So about like this. So what? And then we have the one that passes through the origin. Let's call this S, so that means the 1 comma 1 plus root 3 over 3 minus S. It's the midpoint between this and that, which I think I know what it is. No, uh, one plus root three over three minus half. Body, 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 da, da, body, 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 da, 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 This is just the same line, but going down, so it has a negative slope. Oh, shoot. Yeah, like, when we draw an equilateral triangle, doesn't this look like it was just flipped over the x-axis? And since it passed it through the origin, there's no y intercept. So, it's probably this. So, um, I don't know 
when this intersects. Well, we're about to find out anyway, so. Hmm. That's the distance between, oh, so we need to find every intersection. So, this is one plus root one plus root three over three. Now, where is this at x equals one? So, the distance is 1 plus 2, 3 over 3. Ba -da 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 -da. This is the total distance. Is it actually? No. Wait a second. Yes, it is. Okay. So the total side length is this. It should be 3 plus 2, 3 as the perimeter. So I'll say D. What about it? They got much harder as you go along. Hexadecimal numbers are written using numerics digits. N was hexadecimal. Alright, um, let's see. Only numeric digits. So let's see. If we have these hexadecimals, so like for example, the first few would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, a, B, C, D, E, F. This is 15. Then 16, I think, is written as 10. Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 18, 1 A, 1 B, 1 C. 1D, 1E, 1F, and then we get to 20, 21, etc. I think that might be the correct interpretation of it. I'm probably wrong though, so uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah. There's the first round of ten, then there's the next round of also ten, etc. etc. Now the final challenge is to represent one thousand in hexadecimal. I think 16 squared is 256 and 16 cubed is over 1,000. So uh, how many 256s are there? You can multiply it by 4 to get 1024. Or you can multiply it by 2 to get 512. So, hmm. So, okay. Yeah, all right. So, like, 1A, what does this represent? 16? And then the A will represent 10. Hmm. Can't comprehend pieces higher than 10, really. Well, 
we have 512, right? What's left? Four eighty-eight. Uh, how many sixty-fours go into that? Uh, not sixty-fours. No, two fifty-six goes into uh, three times actually, not two. I've been mistaken. So make it that actually one thousand. Minus six hundred seven fifty seven sixty eight. What the hell? What's the uh, what? The, uh, how does this look like one oh eight? I mean, I sort of see the resemblance, but like, who's writing their ones like this? And again, no, I've never written a one like this, ever. Wait, what the hell? Sixty-four quite a few times. I'm gonna say five. Yeah. And then we have twelve, which is um which one? A is ten, B is 11, so C is 12. So this should be 1,000 in hexadecimal. 3, 5, C. Count 32, 20 of them are going to be purely numeric. So let's see. So that covers quite a bit. 1000 positive integers divided by 32. 26, 3, 40. And one. And then we have eight. So then, hmm. That means that we, at minimum, have 620. Plus a few more coming in. A few more troops. Uh, there are eight left over there. Uh, let's see. Wouldn't it just be 622? I know. Let's divide 1000 by 16 actually. To get a better ratio. So, minus 96, that's 6. And then we can actually make this. Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh, 
to 62.5. Um, we have 10. Yeah. Butter, 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 what do you pay to I'm a... Who's Texas? I don't know. Only in America. Huh. Why do I get a number with such a small digit sum? Only a digit sum of 10. I'm not doing this. Okay, right angle at C. That means that uh, five is the sign length. We're really trisecting, oh no. ACB. Intersect AB at D and E. So this is three. genuinely convinced that this has to have perfectly trisected the whole thing. I am genuinely 100% convinced of this, of this length is 5 root 2 root 3. Because these two are congruent, right? So this is 5 root 2, wait. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe it's not. They're certainly congruent, but I don't think it's 5 and 2 or 3, actually. 
Buddha Buddha Bada 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 Buddha Bada 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 Wait, so BD root 2 is equal to CD over 2. Root 2 over 2. Oh, shoot. D root 2 is... Oh, shoot. Because of this side right here, which is both CD over 2 and BD root 2 over 2. Oh, my sis kebab. So CD equals 10 over root 3 plus 1. I think the only way we can find the area of this is by taking the whole area and subtracting these fellas. So, let's see. Minus five. We're having that to get this length right here, this altitude, and then we know we have half uh, base one height, half base two height. So base one plus base two, which is five times height, which is that number. Times one half. Twenty-five times root three minus one over four. That's the area of one. So the area of both of them together is this. And uh, uh wait, yeah, okay. So twelve point five root three minus one. So. That means that 12.5 minus this is going to be 1.5 minus 12.5 plus uh, minus 12.5. So 25 minus 12.5 So 50 minus 25 3 over 2, which is D. Rectangle with part of integer side lengths uh, with, uh, in centimeters is area a centimeter squared in perimeter p. So let's let the side lengths be a and b. Then the perimeter is 2a plus 2b, and the area is just ab. So which of the following cannot equal to ab plus 2a plus 2b? Okay, let's test it for 100, for example. Uh, can we easily find one for 100? I am, huh? Well, oh, this is a terrible scoreboard.
Hmm. So A B plus two times A plus B. Let's say that. I'm I I I'm not doing this one. Touch with you one A B C D has A B equals No, not the you're right over tetrahedrons. Is this even a tetrahedron? Is it a tetrahedron? One, two, three, f three, four, five, six. Okay. No, no. No. Why do we have a three, four, five triangle stuck in the middle of our tetrahedron? I'm so confused. B C is four. B D is also four. A D is three. At least I have a diagram, I'm not doing this one. Now, I did agree to this. I have seen 22 before, so I'll skip it. Wah. Wah. So. B squared. Minus 4AC. 4 times 2A. 2. So a plus the square root of a squared minus eight a some even integer. Divided by n minus two. 
So it better be the visible my and my too and my little visible my and my is too. What it on 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 Why do I even try? mention anything about BC being the same so like we could have C being really sloppy and then this being a possibility. I don't want to explore that. a unit square and we choose just some random point and Let's say this length is right here is x, correct? Okay, then what percent of the circle is inside the square in terms of x? Oh yeah, and uh, we use it to have. Oh, it's the about finding the area of the chord. You always know that at least a quarter of the circle will be inside. And then you have to find the area of this by taking the area of this sector plus this triangle. I'm not even gonna try. Oh my god, bro. What's the last one I answered? 19? 
Yeah, okay. This is, that's kind of sad, honestly. I cannot do this. Okay. Answer key time. C, D, D, B, E. Wow, first time in a while I haven't got anything in the first five wrong. B, 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 D. Oh, five C's. Oops. 14 is our first wrong answer. Oh, 15 is another wrong answer. 16 is, uh, 17 is D. 19 is D and everything else has been skipped. So 13, 14, 15. 9 D plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1.5 is 12. That was not a good run. Mm -hmm. 14 really see? Which one was 14? What? I was at 4 o'clock. This was a blasphemy video. Astronomy? Already completed three 180 degree turns? Why would the arrow be pointing? Oh well. Uh, that's it for today. I definitely didn't make the cutoff because 102 is pretty low. Uh, but thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.